What's up guys, I'm Ben, a Venice Train fan, and on today's video we're going to show you how to do some basic scenery layers. It's going to be a two-part series, so this is part one, so let's get right for the video. And here are the scenery supplies you'll need. I use Fine Earth from Woodland Scenics, and it comes in a bag, so I just put it in a mason jar and label it. Then you're going to need a uh, medium coarse turf, ballast, and then a light green fine turf. Then you're going to need 70% isopropylene rubbing alcohol. And then I use Woodland Scenic Scenic Cement. Uh, other people use white glue. Uh, and then you're going to need a dirt paint brush to paint the paint and the glue. And then you're going to need uh, some an eyedropper, two of them preferably, and two separate cups to, for your Woodland Scenics and your isopropylene alcohol like this. As you can see, I just kind of figured out the footprint of the building, and uh, I'm going to take my my glue, which I do full strength Elmer's glue. I forgot to record a clip, but you need Elmer's glue or some sort of craft or white paint that will dry clear. And you want to just go ahead and paint that down, because uh, you're going to end up putting a scenery layer on top of this, your first coat of scenery layer on top of this. And uh, I use full strength glue because I like to know when I move my lamp that my scenery is not going to go anywhere. And when you do full strength, it's not gonna go anywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I take a spoon and I put a little bit of the uh, fine earth on this layer of glue. And uh, I'll let this actually dry overnight, this layer right here. And then I'll actually go over and vacuum this layer just so it's not so much, you know, of this. Because an important part of uh, scenery is actually doing layers and textures and different colors. So you don't want just one solid layer. Because if you ever look outside in real life, even mowed lawns have different colored grasses and different textures to the grass. So you're going to want to do different layers and different textures. Um, as you see here, I have put down my first layer. And uh, I'm continuing along the back wall here. And uh, it's a very delicate, tedious place to be putting this. And uh, it, this vacuuming it came in handy back here because it just looked like crap, for lack of a better term. But uh, definitely put layers, and you're going to put down your first layer, let it dry overnight, and then vacuum it up. I know it seems like a waste, but uh, a waste. I'm trying to come up with something catchy to say here. Well, anyway, you sometimes you gotta waste stuff to make it look really good, and uh, it's worth it for the end results, which you'll see in the uh, next few clips. All right, so I have uh, let the first layer dry overnight, and then I vacuumed it. And what I'm doing here is just kind of touching up some of the spots that didn't exactly stick, and uh, I vacuumed up to where just too much of the, the paint underneath was showing. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit. And now I'm gonna take some light, fine green Woodland Scenics um, fine turf, and I'm just gonna put that over that layer and uh, make it kind of look like grass has been burnt in the sun, for lack of a term, and kind of dying off. And I've, you look around North Carolina during the summer, this is what it looks like. Um, at least some of it does. So we're going to go over it all with this. And uh, I'm going over the back. I'm Actually, this is a really tough spot to get to. And uh, this took forever to get this little section here to where it didn't look just bad. So I'm going to finish this up. And as you can see, my phone keeps blowing up. So uh, I walk around. <laughs> All right, now I have a, a kind of a special blended scenic uh, layer that is a, a dark, dark green and kind of like a medium green fine, and then like kind of like a yellowish grass. Uh, I found it a long time ago, and I just I have a huge bag of it that I, I'm never gonna use the whole bag. So I just kind of sprinkle that on my layer. Um, you could probably get the same effect by kind of mixing a, a dark, dark fine and a medium fine and very lightly dusted on here and uh, it gives a lot more depth to your grass and just makes it look a lot better. Time for a pro tip. As you can see here I got grass all over my road so I'm taking a brush and uh, I also use a, a foam brush like you know a foam paintbrush to brush the uh, the grass off the road because you do not want to glue down your layer of grass on your road. It just looks like crap and you don't want to do it. 
and uh, in later tips here you'll see why you don't want to do that. So let's get to it. Now it's time to add the Woodland Snakes coarse turf medium green grass uh, and this is gives that weeded look and kind of more like I said more texture and deeper looking grass look to your layout. I know there's different techniques and different scale but in scale and even HO this is a great way to get deeper looking grass for weeds. So I'm just going to spread around where you know, water would collect or where you know this cement plant would not necessarily take much care of their grass. So in here I'm just bringing a really fine layer and it looks a lot better as you can see. Now what you're wanting to do is take your isopropylene alcohol and soak your grass. Just soak it and be sure when you get to the edges of where your parking lots or anything are, stay on the grass. Don't go on the pavement and don't over soak near the edge of the grass. But you're going to want to soak everywhere else because the isopropylene alcohol allows the Woodland Scenic Cement or white glue water mixture, which I don't use the white glue water mixture. I just use Woodland Scenic Cement because I've gotten better results with that than the white glue mixture that I know a few people use. But the Woodland Scenic glue and the isopropylene alcohol, the isopropylene alcohol allows the Woodland Scenic to penetrate through and just flow and go all the way through and make sure it holds it well. Uh, it will not go anywhere once you use this technique. So definitely use this technique to hold down your grass and uh, you'll notice that it just blends together a lot better the different layers once you do this. So do this and uh, that's how you do your basic layer of scenery. So guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of how to lay down basic scenery layers. Um, like I said in the earlier part of this video, it's all in layering. The more layers you do, the better and the more textures and the more colors the more interesting the scene will be and in part two of this series we will add even more detail with some bigger textures and just a few more details to the scene to really make the scene become a scene. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you already have it. Hit the like and the like button. Comment down below if any comments or suggestions. Follow me on Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash nstrainfan. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at BennettFollow. And as always guys, later. One, two, three, four. His name is NS Train Fan, but you can just call him Ben. He loves the railroads and a dog named Lee. Oh, oh, oh. Lee, oh, oh, oh. His name is NS Train Fan. But you can just call him Ben. He'll give product reviews to save you from wasting money. What a hero!